As with all our DLC stories, Sign of the Times is deeply rooted in the 1960s experience, and this time we've got Lincoln facing off against a brutal Manson-esque counterculture cult known as the Ansiglante. And just when you thought the Mafia universe couldn't get any more brutal, the Ansiglante pull Lincoln into an even darker, deranged world of drugs and violence resting just beneath the surface of New Bordeaux. The Ansiglante have risen up out of the swamps of New Bordeaux, believing their twisted ceremonies, ranging from human sacrifices to horrific, blood-fueled rituals, will restore them to power. The places targeted for these rituals are locations of great tragedy throughout New Bordeaux. Our cult, the Ansiglante, refer to them as places of darkness. And in New Bordeaux, there's no place that fits this description better than Sammy's Bar. As our story kicks off, we find Father James and Lincoln heading to Sammy's, but when they arrive, things are as far from peaceful as you can imagine, as they find themselves in the middle of a cult ceremony that's just gone sideways. And suddenly, they're now responsible for the lone survivor, a young woman named Anna. As our story progresses, you'll use Lincoln's Spec Ops camera and black light to uncover clues that will ultimately reveal the Ansanglante's true motives. But it won't be an easy task. As Lincoln dives deeper into the depravities of the Ansanglante, his grip on reality will be pushed to the brink as he's tested in ways unlike ever before. So that's your first peek into Sign of the Times, and I'm just so excited for you to get your hands on what we've been working on. Tune in next week as we dive deeper into the new gameplay features we've got coming in Sign of the Times, including some exciting surprises in Sammy's Bar. All right, just want to say thanks again for watching and supporting us all these months. It means the world to us. Take care.